HR leaders have had to put in place new measures and contingency plans to protect both the business and staff during the coronavirus pandemic. Various strategies to do this have seen businesses reducing director's pay, as seen at US department store Macy's, while other business owners have chosen to ditch their pay altogether. This was something that the CEO of media company BuzzFeed, Jonah Peretti, chose to do, stating he would not take home a salary until the COVID-19 pandemic had abated. But what is it exactly that HR should be doing to deal with coronavirus as this shifts the employment landscape? According to Dr. Mark Simpson, Chief Medical Officer at Occupational Health Provider, Health Management, employers and HR need to stick by their business continuity plans and keep a level head. He told HR Grapevine they should treat it as any other business challenge and use the same methodologies that they have in their business continuity plans. But I think the key difference here is the time span we are talking on. We will see three months disruption probably two to three months before life begins to return to normal. So the key thing is the chronicity of this. Communication is also key to when it comes to building morale and keeping staff engaged during difficult times. For example, a previous account temp survey revealed that one third of HR professionals believe that a breakdown in communication is at the cause of most morale problems. This is a notion Lisa Rickman Orpen, HR Director at Retirement Village Provider Audley Group, supports. She adds, communication is key and we have acted fast to implement safeguarding measures in advance of government policy. This is a difficult time for everyone and supporting the team through this is vital. Elsewhere, Simpson hopes that HR leaders will take a pragmatic view on the situation in order to restore calm in the workplace while reassuring employees that their well-being will be taken care of. He continues, HR should be reviewing any risk assessments, particularly the ones around social distancing, and also any hygiene measures that can be put in place. Rickman Orpen also agrees, caring for your team is not only the right thing to do, it will set your company up for future success with a loyal and positive workforce.